this is one of those quiet sort of aimless wonders of a video I'm here getting away from everything in this very quiet part of Sherwood Forest I'm just gonna wander around see what turns up quite often I always find something good when I do this kind of aimless wandering it's just nice to visit these secluded parts of the forest I do love being on my own out here just the trees for company and a cuckoo distantly Now, if you don't like cream flies, I can see why. This is not one of those cream flies over that breaks in through your kitchen window and comes in and flies around your kitchen light and terrifies the living daylights out of you. This is a far more impressive species than that. This is Satenophora pectinicornis. This is a male. And this is probably our second most spectacular crane flyer. The other one is a rare beast that I would love to show you, and that's Satenophora ornata, which Dillis and I discovered new to Nottinghamshire and Sherwood Forest a number of years ago. It was also a species at the time known only from like the New Forest. So it just shows you how species can wander or be in somewhere at a site and go under recorded or unrecorded for a century or more. This is more common of the two. Uh, this is still a rare species. It's not a, a cream fly that I'll find regularly. Probably only got three or four records all in all, but it is a spectacular beast. I'll try and show you this from the side. You can see that it's quite spectacularly coloured in orange, predominant on the sides. The legs are partly orange. And the tarsi are all and metatarsi are all black. If I swing it around a little bit now, you'll see there's two stigmata or spots on the wings. This looks quite a tenoral or recently hatched individual to me. But the abdomen there is that sort of orange tan colour with those darker, almost black sort of elongated triangles on each of the abdominal segments or the tergites as they're known. Thorax is black from above and of course brown or orangey brown on the sides. It might just be my eye but this particular individual seems to only have the one antenna. I'm just turning it around to have a look but the antenna on Satenophora crane fly males are incredibly feathered, even more so on Satenophora ornata. It's a cracking thing, isn't it? Beautifully marked. Ornata is ten times more spectacular than this. Indeed, ornata, I'll, if I can, I'll put a photo in, is also marked with yellow. Beautiful things. But I love these. These cream flies, they are not a common or garden everyday occurrence. These are far from it. But this is not a common species by any means. Always pleasing to see one of these. And a rare sighting as well. It's a spectacular insect. <laughs> 